Good evening and welcome to our candlelight prayer for Corona time. I invite you to stop the recording and if you haven't done so already to light a candle, put it in the window or on a table somewhere in the house and take a moment to think about those who have lost their lives to Corona. And then we will say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Tonight, as we pray, we're also going to think about something that's very precious to God and comes from God, wisdom. The Bible tells us that wisdom hasn't much to do with head knowledge, but with heart knowledge. Of course, we certainly need all kinds of head knowledge as we face corona, good minds to find a vaccine, gifted people to work out plans that are good for opening businesses and opening up our lives. But more than that, we need heart knowledge, the heart knowledge of God to shape and influence and drive these other decisions. To build, as Jesus said, our lives and all that we do, all that we decide on the good foundation of Jesus, our rock. Our reading about wisdom is from Isaiah chapter 50 at verse 4. The Sovereign Lord has given me his words of wisdom so that I know how to comfort the weary. Morning by morning he wakens me and opens my understanding to his will. Happy birthday or many happy returns is the normal greeting when somebody passes that yearly milestone. But my grandpa without fail would have a different greeting. He would look at us if he knew it was our birthday and with varying degrees of hopefulness say, well, I hope you're a year the wiser. And it wasn't just his birthday greeting. That was his birthday present. My gran looked after presents and things. I hope you're a year the wiser. In actual fact, that hope was probably a better standard of gift than all the days, the gifts and days gone by. Chocolates or hankies, clouty dumplings, soap and a rope. Remember soap and a rope? Our family all had a good laugh when Grandpa said that. It was so predictable. But I'm sure when he said it, some of them like me would stop and think, am I? Am I a year the wiser? What a world we would live in if at every birthday, every person was indeed a year the wiser. What makes us wise as year follows year, as day follows day? How would you answer that question? Learning from your mistakes and other people's mistakes, thinking things over, talking them through, praying. The Bible has a lot to say about humility and wisdom being good pals. Not getting knowledge for knowledge's sake, 
but being humble before God. How do we become wise in the way that God wants us to be wise? The Sovereign Lord has given me his words of wisdom so that I know how to comfort the weary. That's an amazing promise. We get wisdom straight from his mouth, from his heart. He's our supplier of wisdom. Our farmers are always encouraging us to look for the little red tractor mark when we buy meat. Then we can be sure of the quality and trace it back to where it comes from. You can be sure it's good. We must find ways of checking that our wisdom can be traced back to God. The best way to do that, Isaiah says, is to receive it directly from him, from his word, from Jesus, from people you know who have that godly, Christ-like wisdom. Look, watch, learn, listen, follow. And what a promise. The words of wisdom that come from God will help us to know how to comfort the weary. And the promise is too that on a daily basis, morning by morning, when we open our eyes, God will open our understanding to his will for our lives. We can't go wrong if we do and think and say what he opens out before us, sourcing our wisdom in his. And every year on our birthday, we can be a year the wiser, because every day of that year, we have waited, received from, followed the wisdom of God from the heart of God. Amen. We're going to sing a few verses from the hymn, Lord, Speak to Me. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of your tone. As you have sought, so let me seek you erring children lost and long. Oh, give thine own sweet rest to me, that I may speak with soothing power. A world in season as from thee to Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would bring an end to the coronavirus and hear us as we pray for wisdom, that your wisdom and the following of your will would shape and direct the help that we give to others and the help that we receive. Give godly wisdom to those whose job it is to comfort the bereaved that their words or their silence would bring your peace to them. Along with the greatest skill of medicine, social care, give that wider, deeper knowledge of the human heart that clothes these other gifts in love and compassion, making them effective in ways that are beyond the healing of our bodies but bring wholeness to people's minds. May the words and ideas, the thoughts and plans of our leaders in politics, public services, business, industry, community, be fashioned and influenced by your love and truth. As a carpenter turns and turns the wood on a lathe, 
turn the minds of these people and of us to you so that our thinking and acting can be shaped by your love and grace. Pour out your wisdom from above on your church that we might live in tune with and march to the beat of the Holy Spirit, that we might rise up and have done with lesser things, merely human wisdom. Help each of us every morning and at every point of need throughout our day to receive your promised words of wisdom, to follow the roadmap of understanding that you open our minds to as we consider each task, each person, each plan. Hear us in a moment of quietness as we name before you the people this evening about whom we are most concerned. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have heard and will answer all of our prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now go in peace. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and stay with you forever. Amen. Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light Like a little candle burning in the night In this world is darkness, so we must shine You in your small corner and I in mine Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light like a little candle burning in the night in this world is darkness so we must shine you in your small corner and i in my